Welcome to Shy's 13 Random Facts, where we pick anyone, anywhere, or anything and find 13 random facts about it, then share those facts with you, because we feel curious minds want to know. If you have a curious mind about something and would like us to find 13 random facts about it, then mention it down in the comment section and we will do our best to make it happen. Before we get started, please, if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe buttons along with the notification bell, which all happen to be down below this video. Today we are going to learn 13 random facts about the flower violets. So sit back, relax, and grab yourself something to drink, but hurry back because we are about to begin this thing. Fact number one, the fruits of violet flowers are called capsules, which contain the seeds which fall away from the mother plant. Then the capsules split, resembling an explosion. Cool. Sounds like something I'd like to see. We do hope you are enjoying our daily videos of 13 Random Facts. If you have any ideas on ways to improve or get better, please feel free to let us know in the comment section below. We really would like to hear from you. Number two. There are between 400 and 500 species of violets, which span across dozens of countries across the world. Around 60 of those species are found in the U.S., but the most common species is the blue violet. We all have heard of blue violets, I'm sure, from Bobby Vinton's song. Roses are red, my love. Violets are blue, hoo hoo. Okay, I know, I suck, so I'll stop singing. Number three, several violet species are also known as pansies. Violets grow in the form of grassy plants and bushes, which can reach 20 inches in length, up to one foot in height. Feel free to share this video with your friends. Let's spread the word and get more people here. Let's help the channel to grow. With your help, we can do it. Number four, Notorious French military man and emperor Napoleon declared violets his own signature flower and used the blooms to cover his wife Josephine's grave when she died in 1814. It seems the little guy actually had a heart. Who knew? Maybe I need to do a random fax on him in the near future. So keep an eye out for that. Number five. Illinois and Wisconsin both recognized violets as their state flower. In the state of Illinois, it was children who were in school that voted to make the violet the Illinois state flower in 1907. I think it's kind of cool they let school children decide what the state flower would be. I wonder what grades they used for the voting. Number six. The violet contains both male and female reproductive organs. Even though some species are capable for self-pollination, most species are pollinated by insects such as ants. I believe most flowers are like this though, but if I'm wrong, please feel free to let me know down in the comment section. But as always, please keep it polite when doing so. Number seven. The nut-like seeds have straight embryos, flat cotyledons, and soft fleshy endosperm that have an oily texture to them. And that's just in case you ever come across a little nut and you pick it up and it feels like that, you know what it is. If you haven't been there yet, go check out our other channel, Shy's Daily Trivia. There's some trivia over there that are all about this video here, along with some other subjects to choose from. Obviously, they are not all about flowers, but some are. Number eight. Many people use violets in recipes for a variety of savory dishes, and the petals are commonly coated with sugar and used on cakes, chocolates, and pastries as sweet garnishes. Mm -hmm. good. If you do know a few facts, please feel free to share them with us in the comment section below. We really would love to hear from you. 
Number 9. Along with the color violet, as their name suggests, violets also come in other colors such as blue, yellow, white, and cream. Some are even bicolored, often blue and yellow. I do love a good mixture of colors when it comes to flowers. They always seem so much more prettier that way. Let me know if you agree down in the comment section. Number 10. The petals and stems of violets contain high amounts of vitamin C, an antioxidant that can improve the immune system and overall health, and has more vitamin C than most other vegetables. There you go. Run out to your garden now and start eating. Be sure to come back tomorrow for some more random facts. Bring your friends with you. We would love to have them here with us. All of us together can help this channel grow. Number 11. The most common species of the flower found in Illinois is the dooryard violet, which can grow in almost any environment. The dooryard violets actually bloom twice a year and typically have blossoms that are more purple than blue. And just for curiosity's sake, I'm not sure if it's dooryard or dooryard, but I'm calling them dooryard. So let me know in the comments below if any of these facts surprised you. I get surprised every day from all the different facts I read during my research. Number 12, legs, leaves, and flowers can be used to treat congestion, sore throat, and easily remove excess water from the body. Leaves and flowers can be used to treat anxiety and relieve stomach cramps. There you go. Thank you for joining me, and I do hope you learned something today. We do try to make it both educational and fun for you all, because if not, we know you won't return. And to round off our 13 random facts, number 13, despite their name, African violets are actually not a species of violet. They're part of another family which includes other houseplants you would find around your house. Yes, I skipped that big word. Go ahead, you can read it if you want. So that's it. That's all I got for now, at least until we meet again. And yes, as always, I will be back soon and hopefully you'll be back to join us. My name is Shai, and I do hope you have yourselves a great day. I'm signing off, and good night.